Okay, what's up? So I want to show you how adding volumetrics into your scene can completely transform the image. It can make it look a lot better. And I'll show you how to set it up. Um, I'll show you the before and after of how it changes things. Basically, here's something I made um, a couple days ago. So here is the final thing. I'll just put it up here. So this is what it looks like after um, volumetrics enabled. And I also ran this through Photoshop. So the colors are kind of enhanced, but straight out of Blender, uh, this is what it looked like. Um, so this is with volumetrics again on, it just hasn't been through Photoshop. And then finally, here's what it looks like with n no volumetrics. So rendered image, just volume disabled. So here is the scene. So it's just this, no volume, just my setup of stuff here, just a bunch of objects. Um, so what I'm going to do to add volume to this is just, first of all, add a cube. So shift a cube. Uh, just scale that up over the entire scene that you can see like there's some stuff over here This is just extra assets. I brought in. Uh, they're not actually part of it So I'll just cover up the main thing, which is just this stuff here cube over everything um, And then what we'll do is just create a new texture Let's delete the principal shader and then just add a volume scatter just drop that in plug that into the volume and If you don't see it, you just have to scroll in and out on the render view and it'll update so now it's uh, pitch black because the density is actually one, the value of one for the density is pretty high. So it's so thick that it's just completely black. So if I just set that to like 0 0.01, um, that's a good starting point usually. So that's what that looks like. Just default settings, just 0 0.01 and then default anisotropy. So the density is just going to control how thick you want the fog to be. Um, I'll just leave it there for now, but I want to talk about this, uh, the anisotropy, however you say that. Basically, when you take this up, um, you can see the more I bring this up, um, you can see what it's doing. Like basically, if you have a light source, it's going to make the fog brighter, closer towards that light source. So yeah, I kind of like bringing that up um, a little bit to like 0.7, something like that. If you go too high, it's a bit weird, but... Something like this in this range is kind of cool sometimes. So, and then if 0 0.01 is too thick, you can always just cut that in half or quarter or whatever. And there you go. So that's, it's just that. It's just this one node with roughly the settings that I use most of the time. So I want to talk about how you, this is kind of in the way now. Um, so people are asking about how to display this as bounds really fast. So you might've seen me do this to just quickly get it out of the way. What that is, is if you just go down to this tab right here, the orange square, the object properties, scroll down to uh, this viewport display tab, just open that up. So viewport display, and then where it says display as, make sure you have the, the volume cube that you added selected, or it says display as textured in this case, just click that and then just check bounds right here. So that'll just display it as its bounding box. So if you want to do that faster and you want to assign a shortcut to this, which is what I did here, uh, by doing this. If you just right click this where it says display as textured, just right click that and then hit. Um, for me, it says change shortcut, but for you, it'll say assign shortcut if you don't already have one. So press assign shortcut. And then I just made mine uh, D on the keyboard. I just press D and then for display as, and then that pops up in this menu. So I can just press D bounds and then it's done. And I don't have to find this thing every time. Okay. So that's that just a quick one using volume to make things better. Um, I just want to mention that I probably use, I use this exact setup of volume cube over everything with this volume scatter on it and pretty much 99% of my artworks, even if it doesn't really make sense to be like foggy in the artwork, I always find it just looks so much better just having this in there, just adding a bit of depth and um, yeah, just, it looks good. So um, is it the most realistic thing ever? No, but it looks cool. So I use it a lot. Anyways, hope that helps you. Just a quick one. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.